I'm Dr. Chin Wai Xiong. I'm consultant pediatrician. People talk about gut. Actually, gut is a part of the, our human digestive system. In fact, our digestive system starts from our mouth. From there, connect to the stomach with the esophagus. Esophagus is a pipe that connects our mouth to the stomach. From the stomach, it extends as a pipe form structure, as the intestine, as you all know. From there, there's a two parts small intestine, then followed by large intestine. From there, it forms the rectum, then go to the anus. So the whole length from the mouth to the anus is considered as the gut. The first function is to digest. The second is the absorption. Generally, we talk about digestion and absorption. You have a good digestion and a good absorption. Whatever you eat, you can actually digest properly. All this actually promote the good growth of the children. The gut is the most important immune system because 70 to 80 percent the immune cells located along the gut wall. Other than absorption, digestion, immune system, the gut also acts as a second brain. For instance, when a person has emotional stress, they will feel some funny feeling inside the gut. He might feel also kind of urge to pass motion more frequent, upset in your tummy. You feel nausea, you feel vomiting. In fact, these two organs, namely the brain and the gut, sharing the same chemical, the chemical that connect the two nerve cells, what we call neurotransmitter. So from this point, you can see gut might act as a second brain in the human body.